mercantilism developed at a time where the European economy was in transition, meaning isolated feudal states were being replaced by centralized nation states as the focus of power. Technological changes in shipping and the growth of urban centers led to a rapid increase in international trade. Mercantilism is an economic theory thought to be a form of economic nationalism that holds the prosperity of a nation is dependent upon its supply of capital and that the global volume of international trade is unchanging. Mercantilist policy Mercantilist ideas were the dominant economic ideology of all Europe in the early modern period. Mercantilism was centered in England and France, and it was in these states that mercantilist policies were most often enacted. Protectionist policies were enacted that limited imports and favored exports. Industries were organized into guides and monopolies. France's industrial output and economic grew considerably during this period. In England, tariffs were placed on imports and bounties given for exports, and the export of some raw material was banned completely. The nation aggressively sought colonies and wants under British control. Regulations were imposed that allowed the colony to only produce raw materials and to only trade with Britain. The mercantilist policies were one of the major causes of the American Revolution. The mercantilist policies had an important effect on Britain helping turn into the world's dominant trader and an international superpower. Mercantilists felt that to maximize the nation's power, all land and resources had to be used to their utmost. Mercantilism helped create trade patterns such as the triangular trade in the North Atlantic in which Raw materials were imported to the metropolis and then processed and redistributed to other colonies. The Netherlands, which had become the financial center of Europe by being its most efficient trader, had little interest in seeing trade restricted and adopted few mercantilist policies. Since the level of world trade was viewed as fixed, it followed that the only way to increase a nation's trade was to take it from another. A number of wars most can be linked directly to mercantilist theories. The unending warfare of this period also reinforced mercantilism as it was seen as an essential component to military, military success. D during the mercantilist period, European powers spread around the globe. As with the domestic economy, this expansion was often conducted under the ages of campaigns with government guaranteed monopolies in a certain part of the world. One notion mercantilists widely agreed upon was the need for the economic oppression of the working population. Laborers and farmers were to live at the margins of substances. The goal was to maximize production with no concern for consumption. Extra money, free time or education for the lower classes was seen to inevitably lead to vice and laziness and would result in harm to the economy. Colonial mercantilism With the acquisition of colonies came the recognition that their purpose was to satisfy the needs of the mother country. In the 1500s, Spain and Portugal exerted strict control over their colonial inhabitants. However, the British were more lax in governing their colonies. As the colonies grew and became more prosperous, the English realized that the colonies could provide increased trade if competition could be eliminated. From 1615 on, England instituted a series of laws of trade and navigation known as the Navigation Acts. If colonists intended to trade with any other nations, all goods had first to be shipped to England, giving her an opportunity to handle them and collect revenue from taxation. From 1650 on, England instituted a series of laws of trade and navigation known as the Navigation Acts. If colonists intended to trade with any other nations, all goods had first to be shipped onto England, giving her an opportunity to handle them and collect their revenue from taxation. In addition, 
there were certain products that could be traded only with Britain, such as tobacco, sugar, and cotton. England encouraged the colonists to, spe to specialize in the production of raw materials. English factories converted raw goods to products which were then shipped back to the colonies. With the culmination of the French and Indian War in 1763, the British War, Victors in the world struggle for commercial supremacy and their policies of mercantilism changed. The British began to enforce their mercantilist policies, which led to intensified animosity between the English and their colonies. The mercantilists argued that a large population was a form of wealth, making it possible to create bigger markets and armies.